Hey, I'm Dr. Jerry Williams with Urgent Care 24-7, and I'm here to talk to you about an important topic that comes up all the time in our female patient population, and it has to do with uh, hormonal birth control, birth control pills specifically, and how antibiotics affect the effectiveness of hormonal birth control or birth control pills. And there's been a lot of uh, research done on this, and it's frankly been uh, uh, indecisive on whether antibiotics can actually affect uh, the effectiveness of birth control pills. Uh, birth control, if taken perfectly, the birth control pill is 99% effective, which means one out of 100 women will get pregnant on the birth con on birth control pills per year if they take the pills perfectly. Uh, but if, if not everyone takes pills perfectly, compliance can be a problem. So the actual effectiveness of uh, oral hormonal birth control pills uh, is about 9% based on typical uh, utilization, which means per year, 9% of women per year become pregnant on birth control. But so how is that affected by uh, antibiotics? Well, uh, it's thought that the antibiotics actually can alter the serum uh, either bioavailability, meaning the amount of drug available, uh, or alter the levels of the drug actually in, in, the, in the bloodstream, and that that can make the uh, hormonal therapy birth control pill uh, less effective. So what the typical advice has been is that you should uh, use some kind of a barrier method, either condoms or uh, spermicidal foam, uh, during that period while you're on the antibiotic and up to seven days after you're off the antibiotic. Now, like I said, the, uh, the uh, uh, research has been unclear on whether there's actually a, a causation uh, relationship between the antibiotics and the birth control pills and failure of the birth control pills uh, to prevent pregnancy. But to be on the safe side, every physician, every nurse practitioner, PA that I know, recommends uh, that patients use an alternative barrier method during that period that we, we just discussed. Um, I would bring up though that uh, a lot of patients are resistant to barrier methods. They don't they don't want it, and uh, they um, so uh, they they don't want to use a barrier method uh, at any time. But um, and they don't during that period of time, and they're just willing to accept the risk. Uh, and others uh, are that don't want to use barrier method. We have some patients go, look, I'm just not going to be sexually active during this period of time until it's at least a week after I finish my antibiotics. So abstinence is, of course, as you well know, the uh, the most thorough form of, uh, of birth control. So uh, either way, I just wanted you to make an informed decision. If you get on antibiotics and you're on oral birth control, uh, birth control pills, really, really important that you remember that uh, there is a, a potentially increased risk for becoming pregnant uh, during that period of time while you're on the antibiotic and up to seven days after you discontinue the antibiotic. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon on one of our medical chats. I'm Dr. Jerry Williams with Urgent Care 24-7. Life is 24-7 and so are we.